If El Paso was a person, grandma's who she'd be. Her love would be the warmest you never want to leave. As soon as I saw what happened, I was just like, man, this is horrible. Despite all the pain. For this song, I was actually at work when I heard everything that was going on, and it, it really impacted me. I you can try to bring her down. But mountains are too high. I immediately just take out a guitar and start writing. And uh, so initially, I really wanted to write a song for El Paso just immediately. Music. It's a universal language that can bring people together, especially after a tragedy. But my people were taken, my heart is still breaking, and I need your hand. Musicians with deep ties to the borderland turned to their talents in the days after the tragedy that claimed 22 lives. I think music is just one of the best tools that we can use in healing and with any anything that happens in our life. If you're from El Paso or whether you're from El Paso or you live here, it's like you're just accepted as a whole. And I wanted people to, to, to feel that, to, to understand that. Country music artist Joe Barone wrote a song called El Paso. Cynthia Perez wrote a song called Rise Up. Both serve as musical memoirs, love letters to a city wounded by tragedy. But I know there's a reason, and I know there's a plan. You will lift up this city with the palm of your head. Not only for themselves, but for others as well. The best response that I got was the people that live in Houston or the people that live in New York or, you know, just from all over going, man, this just this just brings me back home. When somebody hears your music or hears what you're writing, that they can relate to how you're feeling. An expression of a moment captured in song. We will rise up with all of taking a listener to a place, taking a listener home. And if you were lost, a star would bring you home. Is always on. There's just a different um, vision in your mind when you're listening to this song. I think it just it brings you back to the 915. I think using imagery is really powerful because, you know, a lot of people, when we hear those things, we instantly go to those places. El Paso music therapist Corrine Richards says the lyrics in a song can impact us in more ways than one. A song that a singer might have written about the shooting at Walmart. Initially, while it's, you know, a way to deal with the grief, it also might eventually turn into something else and be a reminder of all the camaraderie and the strength that the city showed afterwards. For these artists, it's about using their words, their sound, to mend broken hearts. And if El Paso was a person, you'd have not done what you did. Cause you loved her just as much as a 22 of them. Holly Bach, CBS4. There'd be no darkness in her eyes. The sun would always shine.